Okay, so I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas and I'm not going to show you how I type the text because I use the Brother Font Converter for that and I've done previous videos on that. If you go to my channel and look in the font playlist, you should find videos about the Scan and Cut Converter. I did a, a whole series where to get it, how to download and install it and how to use it. So basically what I did with my drinking bottle, I measured the area on the bottle that I thought I wanted to put the name on. And the area that I had to work with was five and a half by two and a half. So I literally just came to the basic shapes. So I then would just move that heart out of the way. But basically you can either leave the bounding box here and that helps with weeding or because I was I knew I was only using a scrap of vinyl, I didn't keep the box and I just cut this once I'd positioned it on the vinyl when I got to the machine. Okay, so I don't know whether you can see this, but I've retrieved the cutting file now that I've just made in Scan and Cut Canvas. And I'm going to load my mat with this piece of vinyl, scan it through to do a background scan for positioning, and then I'm going to cut it. So I'm just going to use the blue icon on the left now to do the background scan. I'm just going into the top left hand icon so that I can zoom in to see for the positioning and it looks okay. I'm going to add a test cut I'm going to go into the settings and check my cut pressure Just going to see if the test cut has cut. And it has without going through the backing. So now I'm going to cut the name. Okay, so that's finished. I'm going to unload the mat. Okay, so it's cut. I don't think you're going to be able to see it because I can barely see it. I've cut away the scrap because I can use that again. Normally I would put a weeding box around my vinyls and that makes it easier to weed but because this more or less filled up the height of this piece of vinyl I didn't do it this time so I'm just going to peel away the waste so I'm going to grab a corner and slowly remove all this waste vinyl and just hopefully leave the name behind. I've not used this font before. It was one I downloaded off the internet for this project. And it's quite curly. Keep 
manipulating this to get the bits of vinyl off it. Just need to get these letters back into place. if you take your time it, it you know you can do it it's just um, especially when you're using these very fine fonts like this and as I say when you've not used one this is a new one to me so I wasn't sure what I was picking up there's quite a lot of big sections that you're actually taking away. So you just have to be careful. think that's it so I'll just show you that I'm not sure how well you can see but you know these are extremely fine so you just have to be careful and take your time So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to give it a bit of a burnish from the back just to hopefully let it all sit down in place nice and neatly. And then I'm going to apply it to my bottle with some transfer tape. Okay, so I've got my transfer tape or in my case this is... Um, contact paper, the kind of stuff that you use to cover children's school books and that kind of thing. I've started using this more recently um, because it's nice and clear and it, it usually seems to release the design quite well. So I'm just going to put that on there. So that's how I'm looking so far. Now, I've got my bottle, my drinking bottle, and I've wiped it to get hopefully any fingerprints or anything like that off it. And I'm just going to give it a quick wipe again with this tea towel and try not to touch it. So what I'm going to do now, I've got a tea towel folded in half lengthways and I'm just going to roll it in from both ends. and make a kind of well in the middle. And hopefully that's gonna hold my bottle in place. I'm just gonna turn it round. Just stop it rolling around, hopefully. And then I'm going to position this on here. So I'm just gonna peel away the backing paper. Don't know if you can see. Since I've moved my craft room around, I'm struggling to find the perfect angle for my videos, but I am working on it. Um, hopefully, it will be resolved very soon. I've got another mount coming, and I should be able to do the videos a lot better than I have been over the recent weeks, because I'm mindful that I keep changing the angle of all my videos. Okay, so there it is on the transfer paper. Just going to bring this back in. And then now I'm going to hopefully put this on here. And because I drew a rectangle in canvas, the size that I wanted in width and height, and then position this word within it in canvas, this should fit on here, you know, perfectly well. Give 
giving it a burnish and then hopefully now should be able to peel this away. Just take your time and do it slowly and don't pull up, try and pull the transfer tape back on itself. But this contact paper is really sticky and it does, you know, tend to grab hold of your project. So that's why I'm saying just take your time. There's no rush. And this little drinking bottle is actually going to be part of a stocking filler for my daughter. I'm putting together a, a can of a spa. I don't know what you'd call it really. Spa maybe. Spa box. Something like that. And I'm going to put, you know, like a drinking bottle in it. I'm going to put a few small chocolates in it. Um, but I'm going to put things like, you know, wax strips, exfoliating scrubs. Um, all that kind of thing. You know, things that teenage girls like and I'm going to put it all in a, a basket or a box all together and I've just been looking for little things that I can put in it so that's how that is looking now I'm just going to add the hearts onto it okay so I've cut my little hearts out I've cut two I might only use one I'm not sure yet just going to get the backing off this transfer tape give it a burnish down pick it up Bring my little tea towel back in. And I want to put this in here. Like so. I'm just going to give it a little burnish. That's one. And I might put the other one on the end of the H. Where's it gone? This contact paper you can use a couple of times, but I find it kind of wrinkles when you're pulling it off. So, but you know, for the price of it, it's a lot cheaper, I think, than buying um, regular transfer tape. Just going to burnish that down. And hopefully, peel it back. And the vinyl that I'm using is outdoor vinyl. It's the kind of thing that sign writers use. So, you know, this will be more than happy to be washed and go through a dishwasher, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to give it a good rub down now, make sure it's all in place. And that is how it's looking. So this little bottle, I think was only a couple of pounds, drinking bottle. So as I say, I'm going to I'm going to make up a kind of beauty box, spa box, if you like. She can take this to the gym with her when she goes. But I'm basically just going to put a box. I'm going to put this in. As I say, I've got some like face scrubs, bath fizzers, um, waxing strips, nose strips, um, face mask, foot mask, that kind of thing. And I'm just going to put a few little chocolates in it just as a as a stocking filler. So I hope you like that idea. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.